Look at this. Greenland is actually 14 times smaller than Africa. This distortion makes northern countries appear dramatically larger than they actually are. Some argue this wasn't accidental. When you look at a map, you probably think you're seeing the world as it truly is. But maps aren't photographs. They're interpretations created by humans with specific goals in mind. The Mercator projection was actually designed for sailors who needed accurate directions. It keeps angles and compass bearings consistent, which is key for navigation. But it comes with a massive trade-off. It wildly distorts the size of land masses near the poles. This isn't a random quirk. It's shaped how generations view our world in profound ways. And here's where things get interesting. If maps aren't objective truth, what other facts might we forget? Those classroom maps you grew up with? They're messing with your perception of our planet in significant ways. Countries near the equator, like Brazil or the Congo, appear much smaller on the map. Meanwhile, northern nations like Russia, Canada, and yes, Greenland, look absolutely massive. This visual trick doesn't just affect geography, it subtly shapes how we think about global power. When certain countries look bigger on a map, we subconsciously assign them a greater importance. The Gall Peters projection shows land masses in correct proportion, but most people find it looks weird because we're so used to the distorted version. The map situation gets even more interesting when you consider who benefits from these distortions. 